Welcome to Winging It. We're playing Arkham Horror the Card Game today. Uh, this is Silas and Amanda playing Devil's Reef. Uh, going straight in from the last campaign. We don't get to spend XP, so there's no deck upgrade video. Uh, so we'll just uh, draw up opening hands and get started. Five cards for Silas. Um, we get the internal injury, which we get to replace. We'll get a uh, brute force, so that's nice. Um, I am going to throw away all of these cards. The, the net is okay. Like, it would be nice to have an evasion uh, ability. But the the problem is that so many of these enemies just, like, um, stick around. Uh, or they have negative effects when, when they engage on you. The daring... You know what? I'm actually going to keep the daring. So we've got this brute force. Maybe we're less reliant on having a weapon. Okay. But the other three cards, we just want to try to get a weapon out. Okay, well that'll help us get a weapon out. Is Eureka, Live and Learn, and the Derringer. Okay, we got a weapon. It's not the ideal weapon, but uh, it can hold us over. No ally, but that will probably be okay. Let me adjust my camera here just a second. There we go. All right, Amanda drawing up her five cards. Um, we are going to be looking for Dream Enhancing Serum, for Lab Assistant, things that help us draw cards, basically. And of course, you know, a Time Lord brand wouldn't be bad. <laughs> okay, uh, practice makes perfect good for pulling out our deduction. So we want to throw away our deduction so we have a chance to hit it. Um, we don't need the Vicious Blow right away. We will... Uh, we don't have the Dream Enhancing Serum, so we don't need targets for three aces. We'd rather get set up to, you know, get our draw engine, and then we'll draw those pretty quickly. Uh, we'll, we'll not take the deduction, because we want to be able to hit it with Practicing Perfect, so we'll keep a Laboratory Assistant, Practicing Perfect, and that gets us, you know, a good... Let's see what else we got. We'll get... Bring the Midnight Oil, okay. Not bad for actually uh, getting clues. Another Lab Assistant, or for resources, I should have said, and... Unexpected Courage. Okay, so I think, you know, we can... Actually, we could probably put our lab assistant under her the first turn. And then try to preserve... Again, always trying to just not play cards. <laughs> so we have targets for the Dream Enhancing Serum, although we don't have the Dream Enhancing Serum. So it's less of a less of a thing. So mainly with Amanda, at least with this build, and I suspect most Amanda builds, it's just about getting your draw engine going so that you have lots of cards to apply to, you know, these situations, so. All right, so we are playing Devil Reef. Uh, I will say this um, this map is going to be very difficult to, uh, to do uh, on this small play surface, so I will do my best. I'm only using the location connectors for, uh, for, for the islands, for the, what's on the islands, I'm just going to put them out, and if they're adjacent, they can move to them, which is kind of how this is set up. But um, these islands can become connected, so I think it's valuable to have the connectors out there. So anyway, um, we are going to look at the agenda. This is Secrets of the Sea, version one. We get version one because we remembered uh, the, the fight with the devil. So it says Secrets of the Sea, uh, the sailors along the docks of Insmith eye you with suspicion as you depart. The lighthouse beacon at the top of the nearby cliffside provides your only illumination as you head deeper into the fog. As an additional cost for you to move from one ocean location to another while not in a vehicle, you must spend two actions. So for us to go from like here to here would take us three actions because it's an additional two actions. And I believe even if you were to use a shortcut or pathfinder or something like that. Okay, and then force when your turn begins, if you are at a fully flooded location, you struggle for air when your turn ends. If you did not enter an unflooded location, partially flooded location, or the vehicle during your turn, take five direct damage. So, oof. Okay, and now the act. The Reef of Mysteries. Somewhere in this accursed reefs, the esoteric order of Dagon is hiding something big. But what? Uh, keys can only be claimed from those special locations using the trigger ability on them, and you find and claim as many of the following keys as you can. 
uh, purple, white, and black. If you control all three of these keys, advance. So we do have the, those keys are here set aside. And then we have the other keys are, uh, are randomized here. So I can't tell which is which. There's only one act. I did not mention it, but the agenda is a uh, nine doom threshold. Um, and then we do have, they're in this fishing vessel. Uh, it's a vehicle. While you're in this vehicle, you click location. You, you treat your location as if it were unflooded, and then you could take an action to move it to a connecting ocean location. Um, once per turn, you can take a free trigger to move in or out of the fishing vessel. All right, and then they start at churning waters, uh, which is uh, a six shroud zero clue action. If you're in the fishing vessel, resign. Each investigator of the fishing vessel resigns. Remove fishing vessel from the game. Each resigning investigator places each of their purple, black, or white keys on the current act. All other investigators are left to fend for themselves. Okay. Um, and that enters fully flooded per the setup instructions. And finally, um, we do get uh, this Tom Dawson alley um, comes back. Uh, for us, we don't get to use um, uh, Elena Harper. She's removed from the deck for the scenario, but we get Thomas Dawson. He gets to go into somebody's hand, so obviously we'll put him in Silas's hand. And uh, with brute force, it's probably a good just early play just to get him in play. Um, the, it is going to create a little bit of uh, contesting of the ally slot for um, for Silas. Uh, so I will probably use him. I probably won't play Peter in addition to him. I'll probably wait for Granny Orn. But having him and Granny out would be really good. So uh, I'll probably just pass on Peter until this guy gets defeated by horror, if that does, you know, happens or not. So, all right, I finished shuffling the encounter deck here. I think I, I'm not sure if I shuffled it good. So let's make sure that's shuffled. All right, beginning of the round, Amanda draws a card. And she gets an overpower. Okay, and she has to decide what goes under her. I'm going to put a uh, lab assistant under her uh, in case we decide to do um, uh, an investigate. I mean, I don't know if that's really, uh, you, know, re you know, reasonable, but it's, uh, it's not one of our do. It's, uh, since we already have drawn a lab assistant, we already have one uh, that, uh, so for, we don't have to worry about this triggering for dream enhancing serum. All right, so I think the plan is movement is king. There's a lot of area to ground to cover here. So I want to get Thomas Dawson down for Silas and then move to a location and kind of, open, you know, explore uh, and, and try to try to find something. Uh, you know, if, if Amanda could hit a, you know, practicing perfect deduction, you know, kind of play on this first turn, that would be good. So these are things to consider. Okay, so first action, he'll spend four resources. to play uh, Thomas Dawson, giving him his combat and willpower boost, and potentially some draw. Second action, he's gonna move the fishing vessel and we'll just move it over to here. And this is the Waveworn Island. It is a four shroud, zero clue location, forced after you reveal the Waveworn Island, increase its flood level, Put one random set aside unfathomable depths and two random set aside tidal tunnels into play, each adjacent, adjacent to Waveform Island, but not to each other. All right, so let's see. I'm going to change the orientation here like this so that we can best represent this. Um, so we get two tidal tunnels. and one unfathomable depths. Okay. So there we are. I think we just take a resource so the next turn we can play the uh, the Derringer. Um, there's an argument actually for exploring and seeing what's what. Actually, you know, I'm thinking I'm gonna do that. So he's gonna take the free trigger to get out of here and then he's gonna move into here and we'll determine if this is like a valuable place for um, to come and investigate. Oh, and I forgot to put the, the flood token, so we'll do that. Okay, this is the tidal pool. 
It gets plus one shroud while it is partially flooded and plus two shroud while it is fully flooded. It is a two clue, three shroud location. After title pool is revealed, randomly choose one of the set aside face down keys and place it on title pool without looking at it. So this is where we get one of the random keys. Um, definitely valuable. So that's how this is there. The random key and two clues. All right, so first thing Amanda does is she's gonna spend two to play laboratory assistant and what she draws will really uh, help us figure out what we're doing. She does have this uh, teaching of the order and we haven't used any of that yet, so that's just a thing. She used to draw two cards off lab assistant, so she will get a dream enhancing serum and a three aces. Okay, well I think it's pretty clear now then that what we want to do is we want to play the dream enhancing serum and then we'll move into Silas's location and then we can uh, work on investigating that. But yeah, getting the Dream Enhancing Serum down is really an ideal. So that was her first action. Second action, we'll spend three to play the Dream Enhancing Serum. And then she'll use the free trigger to get out and then she'll move into the location for her last action. And then next turn, she should be able to investigate uh, and use Praxmix Perfect to hopefully pull a deduction. I mean, maybe we won't pull a deduction. We'll pull something good. Uh, all right, and because she has a lot of practice cards. Funny thing about that. All right, so pretty decent uh, first turn. We'll do upkeep. All right, Silas will get a lucky. All right. And a resource. And then Amanda. Uh, Grizzly Totem. Man, I wish I had the upgraded one. You know, in my um, in my four-player game that you may have watched when I'm streaming, I'm playing a very similar deck to this Amanda, and it has the upgraded Grizzly Totem. Uh, when I when I did this scenario, it's so good. But um, I had opted to prioritize Pathfinder because I think the action she needs to be more action efficient in uh, two-handed. So we're at one of nine doom. All right, so Silas will get dragged under. Put dragged under in your threat area. If you're in a vehicle, leave it. You cannot enter vehicles. And then you can test a fight or agility. If you succeed, discard, discard dragged under. So we can uh, definitely do that. Shouldn't be a problem. And then Amanda will get a lurking deep one. Okay, after he engages you, you take one damage. So she takes a damage. Okay, now the beginning of the round, she gets to draw a card. So she will draw a card and she gets an inquiring mind. All right, so what do we put under her? There's a pretty good argument for putting the inquiring mind under her for getting uh, and it will just allow her to get those clues. It won't be good later on, though, because she won't probably won't be end at a location with with a clue. If we could evade this lurking deep one, does she is she does she have a way she could commit this and the unexpected courage, then get the two clues and then leave. She would be evading at a two, three, four, five. Six, seven, B four. Either way, I uh, I think the uh, the inquiring mind makes the most sense under her, so we'll just go with that. All right. Uh, so Silas can brute force this uh, to kill the uh, lurking deep one fairly easily, so he'll do that. Action one. He has to succeed by two, but he is at four, five, six, seven, eight to be two. He needs to succeed by two.
k minus 4. So we were we were at 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Uh, so we succeeded. We're down to 4. We succeed by 2. Looking deep one is dead. We can't pull the brute force back, and nor do we want to. All right. So that worked out. Uh, we're going to test the dragged under with committing Eureka. So we are at uh, 4, 5 to beat 3. We do have a lucky in hand if we need it. Okay, minus two, that is a pass. And we have to look at the top three cards of our deck and draw one. So we get resourceful, another Eureka, and a meat cleaver. I think we take the meat cleaver. Gives us a reliable weapon. And then we got rid of the drag vendor. And then we'll move out of this location because we'll expect Amanda to be getting out of there. All right, action, that was, action three was the move. Okay, um, so action one, Amanda is going to uh, investigate using Burning the Midnight Oil. Does she want to? No, she does not. We don't need the resources yet. We'll spend one. Uh, again, I'm just waiting for um, the uh, the other copy to trigger Dream Enhancing Serum. I'm just trying to remember if I actually have two copies of Burning the Midnight Oil in this deck. I don't remember uh, if I took one out. That is the problem with uh, <laughs> playing through a, through a blind through a campaign, there's so much time you forget what you've done to your decks. Um, so we, I have taken out the other uh, burning the mineral oil, so there's no reason to hold on to it. So we'll go ahead and play that. That gives us two resources, and then yeah, we played the practice mix perfect. So we'll look through the top nine cards, see what we can draw. One, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I said I was going to look for a deduction. Uh, I don't know. I mean, deduction is still good. But getting a perception for card draw would also be really good. Okay. Oh, you know, we could... Uh, well, the three aces isn't good. Okay, well, we'll grab the deduction, I think. Yeah. We'd have two of three aces, but this isn't a draw. It's a put it into your hand, so it wouldn't trigger Dream Enhancing Serum. And one of the things that three aces is good about doing is giving you lots of targets for Dream Enhancing Serum. So, we'll just do the deduction, and hopefully we just get out of here... And we don't have to commit more cards to this. All right. So we are at two, three, four, five, six to beat three. It's a little bit unnerving. Uh, I really don't want to lose my deduction. So uh, Silas will commit this live and learn. So we're at eight to beat three. Wait, seven to beat. One, two, three, four, five, six to beat three. Yeah, we only seven to beat three. Now up by four, because uh, we did not take out the neg the uh, elder thing. So there's two negative fours in the back. It would be kind of a disaster to lose this deduction right now. All right, that's zero. So we get the two clues. Amanda will grab the key. Get the deduction back in her hand. She gets the key, which is the red key. All right, uh, that's her first action. Uh, second action, she will move. And third action, I think we move into the other tidal tunnel. Um, if we don't get an enemy, then, you know, Silas could explore the unfathomable depths so we know what it is, because there's no way we have enough keys. All of them require two keys to do something with. All right, so second action has to move. Third action will move again. And obviously, if this has a, a clue on it, it's a good place for us to be in the mythos with an inquiring mind. 
Okay, well, Bootlicker's Hideaway. It has another key on it. This is a forced round, uh, two clue location forced after Bootlicker's Hideaway is revealed. Randomly choose one of the set aside face down keys and place it on Bootlicker's Hideaway without looking at it. If you control the black key, you can gain five resources. It's a victory point. All right. Alrighty then. Okay, that's good. I don't know what we uh, we can play next turn the grizzly totem and then use the deduction with maybe our unexpected courage. Yeah, we'll see. All right, upkeep. So this will draw. Look what I found. Okay, well he's got a way to get clues now. Of course, it'd be easier with an old cue ring. Right, and then Amanda will draw a vicious blow. And she's up to three resources, so she can play that uh, grizzly totem. All right. What right, to do? And we'll get Riptide. If your location is unflooded against Urge, it is not unflooded. Otherwise, you test three agility. If you fail, choose to discard one card asset you control, which would be Thomas Dawson. Uh, if you cannot lose one resource for each point you fail by, I don't have anything to commit to this. So we're probably just losing Thomas Dawson. That's no good. Oh, we have a lucky though. So that's a thing. Yeah. So we're at 4v3. And we might be able to lucky out of this. Plus one. We can just plus one out of it. Having extra plus ones in the bag, you know, I've felt it. I've played um, this scenario quite a few times, and having that um, plus one, you know, it makes a difference. I think this is my fifth time to play this scenario. All right, and then uh, Amanda will get Shapes in the Water, test two willpower. If you fail, take two horror. Gets plus one difficulty if your location is flooded, which it is not. Plus two difficulty if it is fully flooded. Okay, so we're just testing it to willpower. We have the inquiring mind, making me look smart for being on a location with clues, right? <laughs> so we're at five V2, pretty good odds. Still two negative fours in the bag though. Yep, there we go, negative four. If you fail and your location has a key on it, Take one horror. So she's going to take three horror. Oof. Wow. Wow. All right. I guess I shouldn't have congratulated myself so quickly there. Wow. Let me, uh, Let's see, I'll try to move this so we can see all of the values. All right. Oh man, that hurt. Wait. Oh yeah, that's the that was the elder thing. Why why didn't I take the elder thing out of the bag? Alright, beginning of the round. She will draw a practice makes perfect. Okay. Might use that to try to hit a perception. Although, yeah, we'll see. Um, I think Silas plays the meat cleaver and moves in. We're gonna first move into the unfathomable depths and see what it is, faction one. And then we'll have some information, which is good to have. All right, so this is the deep one grotto. Forced after this location is revealed, increase its flood level. Okay. Uh, place the set-aside purple key on it. And if the investigators control both the red key and the blue key, we have the red key. What are the odds? One in three that uh, she can just get the blue key for us. Uh, and spend four clues as a group. Uh, take control of the purple key and read flashback uh, nine in the campaign guide. So we're putting the purple key on it. And there's two clues. All 
All right, we have found the information and we're gonna move back so that we can get into the fishing vessel if uh, we need to. And then we will uh, spend three for our last action to put out the meat cleaver so we have a reliable weapon. Okay, cool. Uh, then Amanda, so we have this practice makes it perfect. Oh wait, I had to put a card under her. Which I should have already done. Um, all right, my bad. Uh, we'll put the unexpected courage under her. All right, so we want to just nail these two clues with a deduction, but we're going to uh, investigate the uh, using. Oh wait, oh darn. We need to use the practice makes perfect. I was going to use the grizzly totem. Grizzly totem would get us up to, if we put it out, would get us to two. Three, four, five, and then deduction would make us six to beat four, which is not great. Even if we use the practice makes perfect with the deduction, we would be at two, three, four, five, six, seven to beat four is not awesome. Do I take a whole turn just to get those two clues? But I would have the grizzly totem out. I just hate taking a resource. Um, we'll do it. Be a little slow. Okay, so we need three to play the Grizzly Totem. Then we will, uh, action two, we'll take a resource. Then action three, we will uh, investigate. Playing packs makes perfect. Move the top nine. Let's see what we got. One, two, three. All right, let's see what we got here. We were looking for a perception and we'll grab it. So perception will give us some gas later on when we are, uh, we can put it under her and uh, you know, find a location we can just investigate to get some clues. All right, so we're committing the perception and the deduction. For our last action. There is an argument, I think, for not using the deduction here uh, so that we can have it as a target for Dream Enhancing Serum, but I think getting the two clues and moving on to the next island is uh, more valuable. We're using uh, the Grizzly Toad on the Unexpected Courage, so it gets us to four, five, six, seven, eight to beat four. This was supposed to be flooded, wasn't it? One of these locations was flooded. Let me see. This one, yeah, we had to. This one is not. Okay. All right, so here we go. And if this is successful, we can get some of the card draw. All right, that is a negative two. So we get to draw a card, which is three aces, which is a match because we have another one. We will exhaust Dream Enhancing Serum to draw another card. Promise of power, okay. And then we get uh, both clues and this key. It is, oh, it's the blue key. Do you guys believe that I'm not cheating here? <laughs> that's that's what we need, right? Put the set aside uh, purple key. If you have the blue and red, oh my gosh, we're just gonna be able to do this right away. Okay, the perception goes back into my hand. The deduction is gone. All right. Oh wait, I put out the Derringer. I meant to put out the uh, meat cleaver. I even said the meat cleaver. You know I'm, I did that right. <laughs> Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. And drawing card for Silas will be 
Siren's call, okay. So this is going to stop him committing tests until he takes two actions to clear it. Hopefully we just don't have an enemy and we can just clear it right away. And then it's just done. All right. And Amanda will get uh, Acquiring Mind. Okay. Well, we can easily throw that under her as a card that that um, we know won't hit a target for uh, Dream Enhancing Serum. All right. We are now at two Doom, or three Doom of nine. And Silas will draw Psychic Pull. Okay. If you have no cards in your hand, it gains a surge. Otherwise, it's got one random card from your hand. So I think this actually could be his weakness. Oh, wait, no, his weakness is her revealed. Should have put that out there. Okay. So we're drawing one, we're uh, losing a card at random. Uh, then test your willpower. It's pretty cost the card. If you fail, you lose one action. The card we lose at random from our hand is lucky. All right. Now we have to test willpower one. We are at willpower three. And we can't lucky out of this because lucky is now gone. To lose one action. Three because Thomas Dawson gives us a willpower boost. Okay, plus one. Awesome. Not too bad. I hate losing lucky, but it's an encounter card. You might have just spent lucky passing a test on a counter card. I'll just think of it like that. All right, Amanda will get, okay, a deep one predator. Uh, so after a deep one predator engages you, move one of your clues to deep one predator. When you, def when you defeat or evade deep one predator, take control of all its clues and keys. All right, so we will give him a key. I'll give him a clue. And then uh, we will uh, draw a card from Amanda. She will get Promise of Power, uh, which does mean that we Dream Enhancing Serum. Draw another card, which is another Dream Enhancing Serum. Okay. Um, so I think I just put the promise of power under her, and then she just uh, hits the deep one predator, and then she can move into the deep uh, deep one grotto. Does he hunt? Yeah, he does. So we just want to kill him. So that is what we'll do. We could, yeah, we could put the vicious blow under her and just expend the promise of power since we're gonna have to use the vicious blow anyway. I think that's better in case we miss. Yeah, we'll actually put the vicious blow. Yeah, sounds good. Okay, and then action one, we will uh, shoot or punch the deep one predator, adding an icon so we're at four v four, and we'll use the promise of power, which means we have to put a curse into the token bag. Again, the reason I put the vicious blow is because if, if we draw an auto fail or something then we can just take another shot. And we've got damn, we will still be able to kill him. All right, minus two. He's dead. And we get the clue back. And then she will just move and move. into the deep one grotto and uh, she will spend four clues and we have the two keys we need yeah i don't know what's coming because this is this setup was too good all right so we're going to read flashback which flashback is this flashback nine which does what We dis uh, discover a strange idol, the purple key, and the wave-worn idol story asset. So we pick up this. So 
So after your location's flood level changes, or after a deep one, an immediate spawn to your location, exhaust wave or an idle, and immediately take action as if it were your turn. Does not count towards the number of turns actually you take each turn. Okay, well that's nice. I actually think in all my plays, I've never actually gotten this one before. Seems like the, I always end up getting the purple one last. Okay, so that's a thing that we have. Skulls are now three because we've gotten so many clues right away. He's right away, but I guess I can't complain. Um, Silas will take two to uh, get rid of Siren's Call, and then I guess we're going to draw a card. Does he really have three resources? No, he's got to have one. That had to have been a mistake, because I, pl I, I played the meat cleaver was three. Yep. All right, uh, so then we'll draw and get an old key ring. Okay. So we have ways to get clues as Silas now. Um, yeah, we'll stay out of the boat. There's an argument for getting into the, the fishing vessel. Um, no, I'm going to go ahead and get in. Just so we're not at a flooded location. All right. Silas so gets a take heart. That's good. And a resource. Amanda. Okay, obscure studies. And a resource. Four of nine doom. We will draw. So else we'll get rising tides. Increase the uh, flood level of the nearest location that can have its flood level increased. If no location's flood level is increased, it gains surge. Well, we can uh, increase this one. But I think we don't have to ever come back to this island. So, all right. And then uh, Amanda will get hunting deep one. Okay, while well, it's engaged with you, you cannot uh, enter vehicles or gain resources. After it's engaged with you, if you're not in a vehicle, you lose two resources. If you're in a vehicle, leave your vehicle. All right, so we'll lose two resources, right? Yeah. We're going to have to just leave this guy behind. Hopefully she can pull off a bait against it. Oh, after your location's flood level changes, or after a deep one enemy spawns at your location, exhaust it and immediately take an action. Okay, so we can immediately take an action. So we could uh, hit this guy with a vicious blow, and then we can just kill him. So we will do that, because the vicious blow is still here. So yeah, we'll commit the Inquiring Mind. Let's see, these are actually not exhausted. And we will uh, be at three, four, five, six, seven to beat three, up by four. And so we'll do two damage to him, and then we take one shot at him, and we're good. Uh, 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 wah, 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 okay. That brilliant plan down in flames. At least I lost an action I wasn't expecting to even have, so uh, I did exhaust my grizzly totem. All right, beginning of the beginning of the round, she gets to draw. Or being an investigator, she gets a perception, which she has another perception, so we can exhaust dream enhancing serum. Draw another card, which we'll is crack the case. All right, cool. All right, so I think she just puts Promise Power under her, and we evade this guy. And get out of here. All right, so we have to put a cur Well, action one, she will evade, putting a curse token in the bag.
let's see, we were at two, three, four, five, six, minus three, we pass. That's evaded. Then action two, we will move here and for a preacher get into the fishing vessel. And then we will use our last action to just move the fishing vessel. Silas is letting her drive for reasons. <laughs> Let it, teaching her, he's teaching her the way. Okay, uh, Silas for his first action is going to move to a new location. So we'll, uh, we'll move up to the top right just for this cape, in <laughs> the sake of keeping the board state. No, we'll go to the, we'll go to this one right here. Try to keep the board clean. All right. So this is, okay, it's a four shroud zero clue location. If you control the purple key with the revealed side of any tidal tunnel or unfathomable depth location in play, group them once per game. Uh, so we do have the purple key, so Amanda could do that. After you reveal salt marshes, increase its flood level, but when random sides have tidal tunnel play in, uh, into play adjacent to salt marshes. And this is not connected to the, that other island. So, and so we're just getting a tidal tunnel here. All right, since Silas was already in the boat, he could actually get out of the boat and go look at the tidal tunnel, which seems like a good play. So. Pre-trigger, he'll get out. Uh, let's see, we did have to increase this uh, location slow level, right? Yeah. All right. Uh, so action one was to, to, and then action two, he'll move in. We'll look at this. All right. The underwater caverns. Well, this is useless. Uh, so it's a uh, two shroud, two clue location. You can take an action to move from one underwater camera to any other flooded, uh, to any flooded cave location. After it's revealed, it becomes fully flooded. So this can sometimes be useful in this scenario if it's uh, if it's on an island that you want to be on and then you want to get somewhere else. But it's not useful at all here because it's the only thing. Like this entire island is just this silly. Thing. So anyway, uh, we'll move back and we can't get back in to the fishing vessel yet because we got out this turn. So, okay, well, anyway, we took this turn to <laughs> rule this out as being something interesting. It also means actually that there's no point in Amanda using the purple key ability here because we know everything. All right, so this guy readies. I'm going to totally forget that that guy exists. That's how it's upkeep. He'll get track shoes. Three resources. And then Amanda will get another cracked case. Okay, we can dream enhancing serum that. Okay, we get nihilism. I forgot about this in the last playthrough. Basically, if we autofill, we'll take a damage and horror since we're not planning to cancel any tokens. But uh, yeah, so I'll just put this right here and hope to not forget about it because it is a weakness. It deserves to you to actually follow the rules. All right, uh, we're at uh, five of nine. We'll get dragged under into your threat area, put it in if you, okay, so we're not able to get in the vehicle until we pass dragged under, All right? And then Amanda with uh, Aquatic Ambush, put into play in, uh, next to the agenda deck when you reveal a chaos token while attacking an enemy at a flooded location or reveal additional chaos tokens more than once per test. At the end of the round, it is card one copy of Aquatic Ambush from play. Max one per round. So that's kind of a blank right now because we're not going to be fighting anybody. Okay, so Silas needs to get in the boat. Silas, get in the boat. All right, we're at uh, the first action. We're going to spend three for track shoes. Okay. 
Then action two, we are going to test, um, we're at four, five to beat three. We're gonna commit take heart in case we fail. Oh, uh, yeah, five to be three because of the uh, track shoes. All right, that is the number of keys, which is uh, three. We have three keys. So he does fail. So we'll let take heart go off. And we'll get two cards and two resources. We'll get a Peter Sylvester and a quick thinking. All right. uh, we really need to pass this test. Although what we could do is let Amanda go on and then just meet up with her by going into the underwater cavern. It's a thing we could do. But anyway, we're going to go ahead and commit the quick thinking to this. We can pull it back if we fail. We are at, uh, so this is our last action. So we played the track shoes. We did the take card. Oh, we get two resources. Which means we can play Peter Sylvester, although I said I didn't want to play Peter Sylvester. I wanted to play Granny Orn, but whatever. I guess you play what comes to you. I can see how having six of eight would be useful. Okay, well, we got a curse token out. Okay, so that is, if you fail in your collision has a key on it, take one horror. We don't take a horror, thankfully. We do get the curse token out, but we failed the test, so we'll take the quick thinking back, which we can do. So we're Silas, and we can't get in the boat. So this whole underwater cavern that I said was not going to be useful, it's going to be useful because man is going to go away and trust that uh, Silas will catch up with her later, I think, other than just staying here for a whole turn. Um, we can just hope that uh, hope that she finds a flooded location that he can get to. <laughs> All right, so she will uh, action one move the boat to the turning waters. Action two, she'll move the boat. Uh, we'll go to the top right up here actually. And this is Lonely Island. After it's real, Patus uh, set aside title tunnel locations to play, each adjacent to the Lonely Island, but not to one another. So it is not a flooded location. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, Amanda didn't draw her card at the beginning of the phase. Okay, so retconning this back. Okay, we get an unexpected courage, and which we'll just put under her as a generically kind of thing since we were, we were just planning on taking move actions. Hopefully that's what I would have done. All right. Uh, and then it says we put uh, title tunnel locations into play adjacent to this. Okay. All right. All right, and then, so she moved the boat, moved the boat. Oh, this is a red, which means, oh, those two things are connected. Interesting. All right. And this is not connected to red. Okay. She's going to just move into one of these title tunnel locations. And see what, we'll see what's what. So she'll get, we'll get, uh, Underwater cavern. Okay. This is the other one. Same as the other one. You can just, it's going to be fully flooded and you can move to it. And there's two clues here. All right. Well, I guess we got that out of the way. So interesting enough, he can go one, two, Three, or you could just take three actions to move there. So maybe not ideal. All right. Uh, your upkeep. This is after your location's flood level changes. It says. 
it becomes fully flooded. So actually, I think she can take an action uh, with this to move back. So cool. I believe my interpretation is correct. And uh, this guy should have hunted. All right. All right. She can't get back in the boat yet, though. But she probably doesn't want to. All right. Here we go. Um, we're uh, Silas will draw and get a stunning blow and a resource. Amanda will get whispers from the deep. This kind of ambush goes away. We're at six of nine doom, and Silas will get the malfunction. This is a revelation attached to the nearest vehicle story asset. Uh, action abilities on attached asset cannot be triggered. You have to test a three intellect. If you succeed, I discard malfunction. Okay. Well. That's something Amanda can do, at least. Okay, and then Amanda will get oh, the Loigor. I don't know how you say it, but anyway. Uh, few, it's a prey is a few cards in hand. He's aloof, a hunter. While well, an investigator at the location has no cards in hand, lose aloof at the end of the enemy phase, each investigator at uh, his location uh, discards one random card from your hand. Gross. And it's a victory point one. Okay, and then Amanda will draw a dream diary. Okay. And we have to put whispers from the deep under her. Okay. So I think uh, we're not going to deal with that. Longer guy just yet. Amanda gets a time worn brand out and a vicious blow, she can make short work of him. I think she wants to open up that other tile tunnel location and see uh, what it is and just use this term to play her uh, dream diary, I think. So, yeah. All right, action one. She'll move here and get. Okay, Underground River. All right, four shroud, four clues. Cannot uh, be fully flooded after it's revealed. Increase its flood level. Uh, it's a victory point one. So I assume we can do this. Take an extra action. I'm actually, uh, hmm, I'm feeling like that interpretation. I'm not sure if you're at the location when its flood level would be increased now that I think about it. So I'm going to not allow myself to do that. I did it once earlier. If that's wrong, I'll find out. <laughs> um, okay. So we're not really at a place that we can investigate this awesomely, but we will next turn. So... We have two actions left. We're just going to take a resource and then play three resources to get out the dream diary. Which we'll just put down here. I'll put this over. And then we can, uh, we'll be good. This, this dream diary version is dream, dreams of a child. So if we have a, a full hand, then we our rest of the dream is worth four icons. Uh, do we care about losing a random card from our hand? I think we do. I think Silas just comes and tanks this guy's uh, random, lose a random card from your hand. Then you can engage him and fight him next turn. Yeah. So he'll take three actions to just move here. And then uh, it's, where is it, at the end of the enemy phase? Okay. This guy needs to hunt, so he hunts here. Things are about to get dicey. Um, Silas has to discard a random card from his hand. 
I'd prefer not to lose the daring, but it's probably going to be okay. And he loses the daring. I'm so good at this game. I should just announce always the things I don't want to lose. All right. Upkeep, so this will draw a Eureka. And a resource. And then Amanda will draw a deduction. Huh, I, I forgot that one was still in there because we already played two deductions, so it didn't feel like we would um, have another one. So that's really good for that uh, location. Okay, we're at uh, 7 of 9 Doom, and Silas will get. Psychotic pull. Man, we're just like losing our psychic pull. We're just losing cards left and right. Not great for skill based investigators, but I'm kind of glad it's him and not Amanda. Alright. Ah, oh, Zeringer. We're totally happy losing that. It's just a fight icon, basically. This is probably going to mean a lost, lost action, though. We're at uh, 3v... We're at 3v3 on this. We could commit the Eureka, but it just doesn't seem worth it. Unless we were also going to commit the Peter. To be up by 2. All right, that is minus two. If you fail, this is attack or an evasion attempt engages you. Well, it's not any of that. So we do lose an action. Okay. And then Amanda gets a lurking deep one. All right, uh, which does damage to her, right? All right. And then she will draw a card. All right, we got the three aces. Nice. Which means we can use Dream Enhancing Serum. Draw another card. Just a Time Worn Brand. Guess in time. All right. And we got to put a card under her. So. I think we're just going to we'll put an overpower because we're just um yeah that's fine no no we're going to put a perception yes okay all right so first thing amanda is going to do is she's going to evade committing her copies of three aces I'm doing this because I have three cards left in my deck, and I want them to shuffle back in. So uh, we get three cards are going to be the she draws our overpower, pathfinder, and vicious blow. And then she gets three resources. And this lurking deep one is evaded. Let's see. We got the overpower. We can actually Dream Enhancing Serum to draw another card. We haven't done that yet. Surprising. Okay, we're taking another horror. I think we just got to kill the lab assistant. No, we don't want to do that this turn. I'm just going to have too many cards in our hand. Maybe next cycle through we can do that. And we're drawing another card. Oh, you know what? We could have uh, taken an extra action when that guy spawned because of this. Well, we'll. St I don't know. It's too late now. All right, and then we get promise of power. Okay, it's decent. All right, uh, that was her first action, was the evade. Second action, we're going to investigate, committing a deduction to put 
put us to, or at four, five to beat four. Oh, let's see, we have the essence of the dream in our hand. Uh, so we'll just commit that to the end. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, to beat four. That's going to give us two clues. I don't think we've used this. Oh, did we exhaust the wrong thing and already do Dream Enhancing Serum? We're going to, I'm going to say, I, guys, I'm a little bit, I know we didn't use the Grizzly Totem, and I'm wondering if I already used the Dream Enhancing Serum. So I'm going to shuffle that Promise of Power back in. Just in case. All right, I'm not using deduction on this first investigate. I'm just going to use the essence of the dream. No, I will. Okay, that's minus four. So we don't pass, we don't fail. We get two clues and we get to draw a card from the perception. So we draw three aces. All right. I was just hoping to top deck another deduction so we could get all of these. Um, all right. So these are both gone. We have that vicious blow. Do we just take out the, the lurking deep one now? I don't think so. Hmm. All right, we'll just investigate. We're at 4v4. We'll commit uh, this obscure studies. Be up by three. It's minus one. All right, so we get this clue. So one more clue. So the question is, do I want Silas to come in here and kill that guy? It means this guy will come in and make them each drop a card, and I would hate for Amanda to lose her Pathfinder. Uh, yeah, I think she can just Vicious Blow the guy. Oh, man. So much tempo lost. I think we do. We just come in here and kill that guy. So action, I should have just done that, and then Amanda would have had a much better turn. I was just, I had it stuck in my mind that Silas needed to be there. All right, well, whatever. These things happen. All right, we're going to um, uh, fight with the uh, meat cleaver, putting a horror on Silas. Taking a shot at the lurking deep one. And we'll commit a uh, quick thinking. So we're at four, five, six to beat two. That is minus three, because we have three keys. So he is dead. Uh, we need to leave the quick thinking committed. Oof, all right. So lurking deep one is dead. All right, this guy hunts. This guy moves in. To their location, still aloof. They each have to discard a random card from their hand. Okay, so this is a stunning blow, which might have been useful, but it is what it is. And Amanda, with her bazillion cards here.
Oh yeah, she loses her time more brand. I'm gonna be so upset. I I already said that about the daring, right? <laughs> oh, this was a terrible play. I cannot believe I did that. Oh my gosh. I should have not like oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Alright. Trying to save an action. All right. Well, it is what it is. All right. Upkeep. I think I'm going to cry. <laughs> Not really. Maybe a little. All right. We get an old key ring for Silas. And a resource. And we get burning the midnight oil for Amanda. And a resource. I need to count her cards real quick. Since I just... One, two, three, four, five... Yeah, we're fine. She has enough resources to play her Time Warm Brand. Just no Time Warm Brand to play. We're at eight of nine. We will draw and we will get... Hard from the Deep. Test to Agility. If you fail, take two damage. It gets plus one difficulty. Relocation is flooded, which it is. So we're testing at four V... Five V two. We'll commit Eureka to this. 5v2. Maybe we can get Granny Orn out. 6v2. Alright, that's minus 3. We pass. We'll leave Eureka committed. Look at 1, 2, and Three. There's the Granny Orn. We will take her. 100% worth. Having her in play. Alright, Amanda. Huh, lurking deep one. All right, well, she gets to take an action right away because that's what this says. She takes another damage because of this lurking deep one. But she can take another action immediately. Do we want to? Uh, I mean, what are we going to do with, uh, with an action? With a perception, we can't really do much, actually. Yeah, it's unfortunate. I actually don't see what we could do. That would be uh, that helpful. I mean, we could, we could probably kill this guy, but that would waste our vicious blow, and I kind of wanted to put our vicious blow under. So we're just not going to do it. All right. Uh, at the beginning of the round, she'll draw a card. It's a promise of power. All right, I think we're putting the vicious blow under her. So action one, we'll spend four resources and Silas will put out Granny Orn. Action two, he is going to engage this thing. And then action three, all right, we're going to attack this guy, taking a horror, and we'll put it on Granny Orn. We'll put it on Thomas Dawson. All right. So we are at... Last, so this is our... We're at 4, 5, 6. 3, 3. With Granny Orn can give us a lucky. A pseudo lucky, I suppose. Okay. <laughs> okay, he takes two damage. All right. Um, so I guess we are going. Uh, Amanda is going to attack. She's at three v three. She'll uh, 
commit an overpower in a grizzly totem to be two, a three, four, five, six to be two, three. I don't have any wilds to put into there. Six versus three to do two damage to Silas. <laughs> no, this is actually. Okay, we won't, we'll we'll do a six versus two for the lurking deep one. We're gonna hit the lurking deep one. I wanted to commit the overpower to get the card draw, basically, to see if I can get something good, like a um, like another vicious blow. Alright, that's plus one. So he is dead, and we'll draw a card, which is a lab assistant. Okay, not that grand. All right, now I shall use Promise of Power to attack the one that's on uh, this this guy. So she's going to add a curse to the token bank. So we're at 7v3 at 5 4. Okay, that's minus 3. So he takes 2 damage. And then I guess we're just using our other overpower going at 5v3. Might as well try. If we miss, we miss. Plus one. All right, he's dead. And we get to draw a card. It's unfortunate I use up all of Amanda's combat options. We get to draw a card on this inquiring mind. All right. Right before the big bad comes out. All right, uh, this hunting deep one, I think we'll make it attack Silas, who loses his resource when it engages, and he takes a damage and a horror, which he will put on Thomas Dawson, and he gets to draw a card because he, he gets attacked. He'll get Silas's net. Okay. Oh, I just realized that Amanda had the Dream Enhancing Serum in her hand that I uh, that I could have used to not be so risky. All right. Well, it worked out. Right. Upkeep. Amanda will draw Whispers from the Deep, and she gets another resource. How fast can we draw through to get to our turn branch? She has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten cards left in her deck. All right, the agenda advances, giving us this lovely fellow. Okay, so the Terror of Devil Reef, this version at least, um, he spawns in the fishing vessel's location. He's Hunter Master Retaliate, uh, does two damage, two horror, cannot enter cave locations, and he gets plus. Uh, six health, so he's a 12 health enemy, victory point one. It's got us in its grip. It ain't going nowhere. Now's your chance. Okay, so we got some fighting to do, which is why I wanted Amanda to have a time worn brand. And then we got the new uh, agenda. Now you know why none dare venture near the Black Reefs. It's not just the strange sightings on the islands. There's something far older and more horrifying that dwells under the waves. As this shall cost for you to move from one... Okay, it's, the same, it's all the same stuff as before. Okay. And we will draw an encounter card for Silas, which is this... Okay. I hate this card so much. Psychic pull. Okay, he gets the old key ring. All right, so he's at 3v2, uh, or 3v1. Yep, uh, Amanda's gonna commit Whispers to the Deep, so he's now at 2v1. 
And we're just gonna plan to lose an action. Uh, it's minus three, so we fail, we lose an action, and we don't have to worry about Whispers from the Deep anymore. All right, and then Amanda will get Undertow. If your location is unflooded, it gains Surge, otherwise put it into play in threat area. After you move, take two damage to Horror, discard Undertow. Okay. Okay, so what are we going to put under Amanda this turn? Um, probably the perception as we're planning to get a key. Um, we could put the essence of the dream under her. Let's see if we already used a perception this go round. Yeah, we'll put the uh, no, we'll put the perception. All right. Silas will go first. No, you know what? She'll put the essence of the dream. She's only doing one investigate, so might as well just give her a gazillion icons. Um, so I think Amanda will go first, actually. She's going to investigate. Uh, she's at 8 v 4 We'll go ahead and uh, play Burning the Midnight Oil as well to get two resources when we do this. Okay, it's minus three. So she got this clue. So that was action one. Action two, she's going to spend two resources to overwrite her lab assistant with a fresh lab assistant so that we can soak a little bit of horror. And we'll get to draw some cards. We will get a vicious blow, that's what we want. And a three aces. The three aces triggers Dream Enhancing Serum because we already have one. We're getting through our deck. All right, we got all three aces now. So how many cards do we have left in our deck? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um, we are just going to last action spend three. Are we? No, we are not. Uh, we'll actually just attack the uh, hunting deep one. Oh, wait, 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 no. And then we, we finished investigating. We were going to, uh, I'm going to, I, I totally meant to do this. So <laughs> I played both cracked cases to get eight resources between them. Yeah. So that'll, yeah. So she'll take, uh, I'll give Silas four and she'll take four. It's a little bit out of order. And I realized there's information that I got because of the laboratory assistant, but it was totally in my mind. I was planning to do that. So uh, I'm going to say that I did. Yeah. And then action will spend three to play the uh, the Pathfinder here so that we're good to move into other locations. Uh, you can save movement. All right, and, you know, because we want to be able to deal with that, uh, that terror of the reef. Okay, Silas is, uh, he'll take a, if he takes a horror... He'll be at four, five, six, seven to beat three. Okay, zero. It's two damage, and then he'll take a he'll just uh, take a shot without doing the horror. Again, seven to beat three. Oh, you cannot gain resources. Uh, hmm. Okay. So he couldn't have gained all those resources, so I guess Amanda just takes them. 
She'll actually only play one cracked case then in that case. It's an intellect icon. Okay, so this is his second action. Minus three. Uh, so he is dead. And last action. We will try to clear this dragged under. We are at four, five, six to beat three. We got the track shoes. Hey, minus one. So dragged under is gone. Man, we have spent a long time on this island, and we're going to spend a long time still with that uh, enemy being there. He can't hunt into them because they're at a cave location. Um, so. Silas will draw unexpected courage. And grab a resource. Amanda will get practice makes perfect. It's not terrible, I think. Is there a vicious blow still in here? I'm looking for fighting cards, honestly. She oh no, she doesn't. Hmm. That is unfortunate. Okay. We're at one of nine doom. And Silas will get deep one assault. Disengage from each deep enemy or location. Uh, and then we get, uh, there's not a deep one, so we can go grab one. Um, let's get a lurking deep one. And engage it with him. And he'll take a damage from that. Alright, and then Amanda... Oh, and then Amanda gets to actually take an action right away. Uh, with uh, because of this, so we're remembering it now. Um, she's actually going to discard her crack the case as a free trigger on this undertow. So this is not an action, but we're going to commit all three aces to clear it. So it's gone. She draws three cards. She gets unexpected courage, deduction, hand practice makes perfect, but no time worn brand. She gets three resources. And then those three aces go into her discard. You know, I, I think maybe I didn't have a trigger in which to do that. Do you have a trigger before your action? Well, there's nothing, no, nothing for it now. Um, yeah, oh well, we'll, uh, we'll draw a card and get an unexpected courage. Okay. So we can say we did all that three aces stuff now at the end of the phase. Uh, cause she's still looking. So the time one brand actually is the last card in her deck. So I guess that's at least something we know. So, uh, at the big, oh, actually the beginning of the, no, there's two cards in her deck. Okay, we get an acquiring mind, and we know the last card is going to be the uh, the uh, the time worn brand. So she can draw it, Pathfinder, hit that guy twice uh, for six damage. Actually, more damage than that. So Silas just needs to evade this leaping, this lurking deep one, and then let's see if. She exhausts. Oh wait, she's got to put. We're gonna put a vicious blow under her. Yeah, because we wanted to do lots of damage. All right. Um, the question is, does he need to be evaded? Well, he's massive, so it doesn't matter. Presumably, Silas evades moves. If he does, let's see, Amanda can do two a, a hit of three, and then one of five. She can do eight damage. So if, if Silas could do two damage, which he can't do, then, 
uh, four damage, which you can't do. So I think Silas just needs to move in and evade. All right, so we're going to evade once. The um, the uh, the lurking deep one. Oh, we can just kill it. Yeah, we'll just kill it. That's fine. All right. Uh, oh, we didn't heal a horror, or did we take a horror for something else? Well, whatever. We'll put a horror on Granny Orn. We're at six v two. First shot. We auto fail. Oh man, this is a problem. Okay, uh, Silas will move in to here, taking a damage and horror, and then he will evade uh, the t the terror. Committing, he's at four five with the drag shoe six seven to beat three. Two. So it is evaded. All right. Amanda, action one. Oh, yeah. I shouldn't have put the vicious blow under her because I forgot I had to take an action to draw the card. But anyway, she'll wait. Oh, it's not. It's in her discard. So we have like way more cycling to do. I totally. I misread what was going on with my deck. Okay, well, wah, wah. it wasn't in my draw deck, it was in my discard. All right, she will Pathfinder in and be very sad. She will uh, attack the uh, Lurking Deep one. She's at three to beat two. She'll... Uh, Men and Unexpected Courage to be four, five, to be two, and Granny Orn is available. Oh, we can actually use the totem. We'll use the totem. Okay, minus one. Did I miss the draw? I think I missed the draw from Dawson, too. All right, well, anyway. That was a very unsatisfying turn <laughs> because of mistakes were made. Looking deep one's gone. This thing readies. All right, let's go. Uh, I'm all over the place, you guys. All right, uh, Silas will draw Live and Learn. I'll get a resource. Amanda takes a horror on her lab assistant. She gets another lab assistant. Get uh, horrors from the deep. And Silas is adjusting his agility. If you fail, take two damage. Okay, is this location flooded? Too much stuff over here, but I think it is. It is not. Minus three, we were at four, five to beat two, so we pass. And then we get another malfunction. All right, here. All right, and then Amanda will draw an overpower. All right, so 
which uh, do we have an overpower or do we use it? We do not have an overpower. All right, I'm gonna put a perception under her so she can just fix those broken malfunctions and we can move on with our lives because right now we're just not set up to do enough damage to kill that guy. So uh, Silas will evade him. Uh, he is at four, five, six, no, four, five. To beat three. He's not alert, right? All right, action one. Five to beat three. Okay, that's my three. We'll use Granny Orn. And he will be evaded. And then we are going to. Uh, we have we are where this horror healing is going to be a big deal. We have no way of doing action of doing action compression here. Um. Well, we're gonna take a horror and swing at this guy. We're at four. No, we're not. We're just gonna kill off Thomas Dawson. Yeah. Yeah. Swinging at this guy, we are at uh, four, five, six to beat three. Okay, that's minus three. So that's three damage onto this guy. This should be one doom, right? Because he just came out. No, he came out and then, yeah, we moved in. Okay, it is two doom. Oh man, there's only two damage. Okay. We will, uh, I was thinking I'd take a resource so I could play Peter, but actually that doesn't make any sense. Okay, we'll take one more horror three up. And then we'll get Peter out next turn. Yeah, it's minus two. So that's two more damage. All right, he's going to get in the boat. And uh, so now we have, uh, we're, uh, Amanda's testing at 4v3. Should commit essence of the dream to be eight v three to fix the malfunction. Action one. Okay, and it is a minus two. So we clear the malfunction. Draw a card. Promise of power. Dream enhancing serum. Draw another card. Another perception. Okay, we're gonna do it again. We're at four v three. We'll commit the unexpected courage and the grizzly totem. No. We'll um, commit the lab assistant and the grizzly totem. So we're at four, five, six, eight, three, because we still have Granny Orn. This is gone. Okay, that is minus one. So we get rid of the other malfunction. Then we will get in the boat and we will move the boat away from this guy. We'll ready. And we'll do upkeep. Oh, I had used Granny Horn. 
Okay, well, I'll retcon this because if I had used Granny Orn, I would have used instead of the um, the lab assistant I w and, and the grizzly, I would have used the uh, unexpected courage. Uh, I don't want to. I want to be true to what I would have done had I realized the board state properly. So. So we just lose that unexpected courage. Okay, uh, upkeep. So this will draw another Granny Orn and a resource. And we get to crack the case. And a resource. Okay, um, I need to take a short break. Uh, to recharge some things. So I will be back and we will do the next round. All right, we're back. We're at three of nine doom. And we get a deep one predator for Silas, which is if he engages you, move one of your clues to the deep one predator. He has no clues. He has no keys. Um, and then immediately defeat him, you get all your stuff back. So it's not a problem. And then Amanda will get Riptide. If your location is unflooded, it gains surge, which it is because they're in the boat. And then she will get Rising Tides. Increase the flood level of the nearest location. So that could be like anything. So we're just going to increase this flood level location because why not? Since the turning waters can't be. Okay, and then at the beginning of the upkeep phase, she will draw and gets an unexpected courage. All right. Oh, we have to uh, put a card under her, which will be probably the unexpected courage, I would think. Yeah, just so we have a generic card under her. So. And we already have one in our discard. Okay, so I think Silas is going to kill his Deep One Predator and then move, uh, play Peter and then move the boat. So um, we will, oh man, we can't take a horror, can we? That is unfortunate. Take two hits, we're at four, five, six. Hmm. Yeah, we can always live and learn this. All right. So we're action one. We're just going to go six versus I guess we'll take a horror. I'll just play a limb and learn if we mess this. Okay, we're at six V four with meat cleaver. Is there anything, is there an effect that would give her a Mohara? Okay. No. Okay. All right, it's plus one. So, Deep Run Predator is dead. We get to heal the horror. We'll spend three to put out Peter Sylvester. And then we'll move the boat to this location here. And I realize now that there's a big glare in the middle of the screen. And I'm sorry for that. I'm still trying to work out the lighting. Um, of this particular room. Okay, this is the Black Reef. After you reveal the Black Reef, increase its flood level. Put two random set aside tidal tunnels into play, and then put one random set aside unfathomable depths into play adjacent to both of those. All right, so this one, and this is a plus, which is connected to. Okay, it actually goes up here. This is connected to those two things. And let's get it out of the glare so we can actually look at it and we'll move them up here. So now those two are actually connected here. So this is going to be a little bit difficult to get on this. So we're going to move the agenda over here so that we can. Uh... Oh, did we lose the Doom? I don't know. I guess we're at four of nine Doom. I don't know. All right, and then um, so we put in two titles and unfathomable depths, and we are just going to shift all this down 
because we don't really need it anymore. We'll just try to compact it for not coming back there. All right, so the way this works is we get one of these, a, t uh, a tidal tunnel, and a tidal tunnel below it, and then this unfathomable depth is connected to both of those. And there, the Black Reef is... And so I'm not sure if I can actually track shoes here because we're, we're in the boat and so I don't think we can move. I'm going to say that I can't track shoes, um, nor do I th think we can use this uh, wave-worn idol. I do think, upon thinking about it some more, that I can actually use this when I reveal locations. Um, but again, they can't move if they're in the boat. So Silas is out of the boat um, now, and I think he is done because he played Peter and then he moved. All right, so he's got Horror Soak now. He's got Willpower, he's got Agility, Intellect, he's in good shape. Okay, so uh, Amanda will get out of the boat and then we will Pathfinder into this Tidal Tunnel location. Okay, this is the other Underground River, this is the other victory point. So this is where we decide, do we want to you know, go for, uh, <laughs> do we want to go for VP or do we want to just move on? And of course we want to go for VP because VP is good. All right. Plus I think she can clear it out this turn. So she is going to investigate. She's at 4v4. She is going to spend one resource. Play practice makes perfect. One of her two practice makes perfect. Looking through the top nine, looking for deduction. Two, three, four, five, seven, eight, nine. All right, we missed the deduction. So is there something else we can grab that's practiced? I do think we just, oh, we can grab a three aces. Yeah, that's fine. We'll grab three aces. It means we really don't want to fail this test. We'll go ahead and commit perception to this. And that gets us to one, two, or four, five, six, seven, and then this will be eight. Uh, we'll just commit the deduction from our hand. So we're eight before. Uh, just because there's curse tokens in the bag, we're going to go ahead and, and hit this inquiry mine. We don't want to lose our, our, um, We don't want to lose our, uh, if we hit a curse token, we don't want to lose our three aces. Okay. Minus two. Okay, so we see it by a lot. We get the, the all of this goes, the three aces goes back into our hand. All these cards go away. And we get to draw a card. An overpower. We do have one of those. So this gives us a draw from the Dream Enhancing Serum, which is another three aces. Okay. All right, and we got two clues. All right, we're gonna investigate again. Spending another resource for practice makes, our other practice makes perfect. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so we're down to eight cards, so we can just know that we can pick out our other deduction from here. Yep, which is the goal. We are, so this was our second action. So we are at uh, two, three, four, five. And then we'll go, we'll commit uh, the Inquiring Mind. Three, six, seven, eight. And we'll add a token, members of the totem for good measure. Okay. 
you know what, I think this will be easier to represent if I turn this. Yeah, that, that looks much better because the overlap was looking weird. Okay, so get this last clue. Oh, we should have increased, increased, that, increased that flood level. All right. Okay, that's minus three. So we were up enough. We get those two. And then we'll use the last action to move and see what this unfathomable depth is. All right, this creation revealed, it becomes fully flooded. Let's set a white key on it. And we need the uh, yellow and red. And of course we have the red and the blue, so. Okay, it's fully flooded. And there are two clues there. Okay. This guy hunts to the middle area. Silas will draw a lucky and get a resource so he can use it. Amanda will draw during the midnight oil in case you needed more resources. Resource, kind of a mess over here. Too many clues and resources and stuff. All right, we are at five of nine doom. I think I accidentally, when I transferred this over, I lost a, a turn. Uh, I might have to go back and review the footage if it becomes close. So we'll see. All right, and then we get an Aquaticus ambush. So this is going to the agenda. If we decide we want to fight, we're going to have a problem. But we can get in the boat and then you're not at a flooded location, so it's fine. Okay, and then we get a hunting deep one for Amanda. Um, so this is going to, she loses two of her resources. Okay. Uh, and then she gets to take a free action. I don't know what she's gonna do losing these resources. You know, she's gonna pay for stuff. All right. So we're gonna to want to evade. Um, let's see. We are at four v three. Yeah, we'll just uh, commit a promise of power. I need a curse token. Oh, you know what? We have this, uh, the essence of the dream in our hands. Yeah, we'll do that instead. We didn't use it last turn. So yeah, we'll commit the essence of the dream, which is worth four icons. So we're at two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, v three. Okay, it's plus one. So he is evaded, and we still have all of our turns left. And this essence of the dream will come back into our hand nicely. Uh, so where is he? Okay. All right. So I guess we want to get in. The, the problem is we're going to run into Terra Double Reef. It's going to be a problem. We're going to drive the boat into him. Well, I think uh, the first thing we're going to do she needs the Pathfinder, and you know maybe this location will be the one she's looking for. Okay, this is the bootlegger's hideaway. The other bootlegger's hideaway. It's a four shroud, a two clue. Um, we put a random key on it, and if you control the white key, you can draw three cards. Well, we don't. 
Which key are we supposed to? I think we were supposed to put the white key here, though. All right. Ain't nobody got time for that. All right. Uh, all right. So. Oh, wait. Before we begin, begin, we have to draw a card. Yep. Sorry, before all this. All right. We can crack the case, which lets us dream enhancing serum. Draw another card. Which will be our time worn brand. Okay. So, what card are we putting under her? Uh, see, I would not have known whether or not I was going to investigate or not. All right, so we need to back this up because having a Time Warp brand out, I would not have gone in yet. I would have sat there and killed this guy. So, uh, actually, so we're going to put a um, an overpower under her. Action one, we will spend three, four, five, put out time one brand. Action two, we will swing, we're at six V three. Oh wait, this aquatic ambush means when you reveal a chaos token while attacking an enemy to flooded location. Okay. So we need to we'll commit uh, this essence of the dream. Which is still worth four icons. So we have to reveal two when we do this. So a chaos token is negative three. Is it Reveal an additional chaos token. Okay. So that is, we have how many keys? One, two, three. So that's negative three, negative six. And we were at six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So that's a hit for two damage. We get to draw a card. And she gets a vicious blow. So it occurs to me now that um, because this location is fully flooded and that's where she started. There's no chance that this location would have been fully flooded because the only two that start come in to play fully flooded are the Onomar Caverns. Okay, so I would have known that I don't move into that tidal tunnel location. Okay, uh, so um, so she can spare one last hit. Uh, so we will, uh, we're done with the Essence of a Dream. We're going to take two shots with, and then we'll Pathfinder away. Um, we're going to take two shots. We're at six, and we'll add this to be seven. This is our last. So we're at seven versus three, revealing two. Oh, we'll commit the Promise of Power to it. Minus one and zero. Okay, so he is dead. And then we will Pathfinder into this location, revealing it like we did before. And now we know that there are two clues on it and a random key. Where did I put it? Okay. Two clues and a random key. Okay, um, action one, Silas will move in. Action two, he'll spend his one resource to play the old key ring, their hand. That's grainy one. It's got two keys on it. And then Action three, he'll use the old key ring. So he's he's uh, 
Let's see, he's at a 3v2. And he'll commit uh, Granny Orn to this. To be 4v2, up by 2. We can Granny Orn or Live and Learn to get this last clue. Okay, well, we just pass, so that's good. All right, we just pass, he gets a clue, and we lose a key off the key ring. All right. Did she draw a card when she killed the guy? I think she did not, so she would have drawn her obscure studies. All right. Missing triggers all over the place. Okay. This terror comes back over to here. Silas upkeep will get quick thinking. And a resource. And Amanda will draw uh, her whispers from the deep. All right, she's at a full hand size now. Ten cards. Six of nine do. And we'll draw, and we get deep one assault. All right, so we get a grab one. We'll get a uh, the lurking deep one. Let's take a damage. Amanda will get oh deep one bull. Some of a gun. All right. And then she has to choose and discard a card. So, yeah, let's look at him. Deep One Bull is a 4 or 5 2. After Deep One Bull engages you, you have to choose and discard one card from your hand. After the investigator defeats another Deep One enemy out of any location, ready Deep One Bull. Move it once toward that investigator's location. This aquatic assault is gone. Oh, she gets to take an action, though, right away. So, yeah, she's going to immediately attack him, committing this vicious blow, I think. Uh, do we want to do that? No. Um, oh, yeah, she's going to attack him, committing her whispers from the deep. And then it, it, oh, only if we're at a flooded location, right? No, after a deep one spawns your location. Yeah. Okay, so we have to do this. All right. Um. So we are at six five v. He is a four. All right. We'll commit uh, the promise of power. Adding a curse token to the bag. Nice one. Okay. So we do two damage to the deep one bowl. And we get to draw a card from the overpower, which is our other copy of three aces. Fantastic. All right. And Whispers of the Deep is now gone as well. All right. Uh, so now it is the Encounter phase, or no, it's the uh, investigator phase. So, Mandy gets to draw a card. She's shuffling her deck, but she has to take a horror. And she draws oh, a vicious blow. Okay, cool. All right, she'll put a vicious blow under her. So she 
she kills the Deep One Bull, and then she goes in and she kills the Terror Devil Reef. I think that makes sense. And then Silas can get this last clue. He's got stuff for doing that. Yeah. All right. The only question is, does Amanda have enough to hit all this stuff? I think she does. Okay. Um, so she'll hit the Deep One Bull. She'll commit Overpower. So she's at th uh, 5, 6, 7. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 versus 4. Um, of course, she can get helped out by Granny Orn at this location. So we'll leave it as that much. Okay, that's plus one. She succeeds, she gets to draw a card. And the Deep One Bull is dead because she does three damage. So she draws a card, which is another promise of power. So Deep One Bull is gone. I don't remember if I chose and discard a card when, uh, we'll just, uh, if we didn't, we'll just say, well, I'm, I'm going to discard this Burning the Midnight Oil, which would have been the card I would have picked. Okay, I think she can do eight damage to the boss. So she will Pathfinder in. She's going to do three damage and then a five damage hit. Yeah. Okay. So we're attacking now um, at, we're at one, two, three, four, five to be three. Uh, we'll commit obscure studies. So it's five, six, seven, eight to beat three. Worried about curse tokens, but it's okay. Okay, nice one. So that's three damage. Okay, so there's now seven damage on him. And then she will exhaust the brand. We're doing a, this. will get a four damage attack. So five damage attack is a vicious blow. We'll commit three copies of three aces. To automatically succeed the test. We draw three cards. So we get a deduction, inquiring mind, and a promise of power. We get three resources. And he is defeated because he's an elite. And the victory display, because he's an elite. And there shouldn't be that we killed another guy should be in the victory display, right? The Yeah, this guy should be in the victory display as well. Okay. Um and we gotta draw th draw three cards. Because you know she needs more draw. Okay, we got the whispers from the deep. We got the burning the midnight oil and the perception. Okay, cool. So her hand actually might be too full at this point. Okay, so that's her turn. Silas, I think, kills this guy, gets the clue, and then moves to the fishing vessel. I think that makes sense. Okay, so he's going to kill this guy. He's going to take a horror on Peter. We're at uh, four, five, six to be two. Oh, that was all of Amanda's actions. You know what? We'll uh, we'll commit a quick thinking to this. So we're at seven to beat two. Okay, nice two. Quick thinking goes off. We get an action. He's dead. We have to heal horror. Okay. Now, next action. We'll use the little key ring. Uh, we are now at 3v2 on this investigate. 
Lucky or Granny Orn. It's fine. Minus two. Okay, we'll just Granny Orn. And that is successful. And this discards. You get the clue. And we'll get this key, which is the yellow key. It's, this one cares about what? Both the red key and the yellow key. Okay, so I think we just... Okay, I got that extra action because I was thinking that... Um, <laughs> okay, because I was thinking that we would have to come back here. But now I think we just get this key and then we go to the last location because there's only one more location, right? Yes. Which means I actually forgot to put a connector here between these two. Oh no. Well, I don't know that it makes a huge difference. These two are connected, right? So when I made him hunt, he should have hunted there first. Uh, and I don't know if Silas was still there. I think he wasn't. Uh, I, actually, I think he was, but I would have moved. Well, that was a mistake. Um, but I definitely would have moved Silas had I known that guy was hunting there. So, Ugh. oh well, mistakes. All right, uh, so Silas has the key. Uh, he could get the key from Amanda, but he would need how many clues here? Four clues, and he doesn't have them. So, yeah, there's no real reason to... to... So, anyway, uh, action two, he's going to move in. And then action three, I guess we'll just get a resource. We could play his net or something. All right. Upkeep. So this will get resourceful. And a resource. Amanda will get. Crack this makes perfect. And we have to discard a card. We'll discard burning the midnight oil. Actually, we have to discard two cards, looks like. Um, we'll discard the inquiring mind. No, we don't have to discard two cards. Okay, cool. Did I get a resource? I don't remember. All right. We are at one, two, three, four, six, seven, and nine down. We're drawing counter cards. Shapes in the water, test two willpower. If you fail, take two horror. We don't care about this. If you were to uh, fully flooded two. So we're taking, we're going on four V four here. Oh, and Peter should have healed his horror. <laughs> All right, that is minus four. If you fail and your close one has a key on it, take one horror. So we have to get an additional horror. So Peter gets two horror and we get one horror. Not a big deal. And then Amanda will get under tow, if your location is unflooded, it is flooded. So this goes in. I'm just gonna have to discard a card to get rid of this. Okay. And then she draws a card at the beginning of a round, which is an unexpected courage. I think we just put that under her. Okay, uh, so she needs to get there. We need to get rid of this undertow first. Oh, wait, no, we can't put that under her. We have to put the uh, whispers. Whispers from the deep. So she's got to beat this uh, three fight or three agility. Uh, so can we commit to this? Just the promise of power. We will uh, commit two promises of power to this. So that puts her at a... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. To be three, and we have to discard a card. We will discard 
uh, inquiring mind to do this. All right, so we put in two, two curse tokens. And we're at 9v, 9v3. We'll use this to be 10v3. I'm worried about multiple curse tokens on this test. Okay, that's plus one. So we pass. And we get rid of this undertow. So then we will Pathfinder then action one move. Okay, then we will spend our one, two, three, four. We have the yellow and the red key, which is what we need to get the white key. And let's see, let's look at the flashbacks and see what we need for that. That is the, which flashback? This is the... Flashback 10. Mantle, white key. Okay, so we she gets this uh, awakened mantle. If your location is flooded, exhaust awakened mantle. Move to a connecting location that is also flooded. Okay, cool. So she gets this with the white key. I don't care about these too much, so I'm just running out of room here. So the white key is on that. So now skulls are worth negative four. She'll exhaust this move here then she will an action to move here she'll get in the fishing boat but she doesn't want to leave Silas <laughs> so um, she will take an action to spend three resources for to play another copy of dream enhancing serum See, we still have the essence of the dream in our hand as well. Okay, we could have committed that instead of those two promises of power. I don't. That wasn't. That wasn't smart. I keep forgetting I to, to to take it. Okay, Silas, um, action one, will move. He'll exhaust track shoes. We're going at six v three to beat the track shoes test. That is minus four. We will use, uh, exhaust Granny Orn to pass. So we are here. We get in the fishing vessel. Then we will move down. We'll just move down to the this location down here. That's two actions. This should be the one that just connects to the other two. So this is. After you reveal Hidden Cove, put one set aside tidal tunnel into play adjacent to Hidden Cove, and then one set aside unfathomable depths into play adjacent to that tidal tunnel. So, what we get here is there in the fishing vessel the tidal tunnel and the unfathomable depths. So, there we go. All right. Now we're in the hidden cove here. And we do have key. All right. Silas will draw unexpected courage. And a resource. And Amanda with Pax makes perfect, which we have another copy of, so we can dream enhancing serum to draw another copy. Okay, another card, which is unexpected courage, and we can do the other dream enhancing serum to also get another card, which is an inquiring mind. Our hand size is fine, even with the essence of the dream. And we get a resource. 
we are at eight of nine doom. This is our last turn. So hopefully whatever we draw, we can handle it. Okay, we get stowaways. The investigators are in a vehicle. If no investigators are in a vehicle, it's surge. Otherwise, each investigator must remain or take one damage and one horror or leave the vehicle. Yeah, they're both gonna leave. And then each uh, each investigator who left cannot enter the vehicle for the remainder of the round. So that's fine, totally fine. Okay, and then Amanda gets dragged under. Okay, you cannot enter vehicles. Well, this is fine, because this is the last turn, so we can't enter vehicles anyway. Okay, so I think Amanda just goes in, uses her deduction, gets the clues, and presume. Oh, yeah, Silas will need... Actually, let's uh, let Silas will go first. Yep, I think. So, action one, he will move in. Oh, wait, she's got to draw her last card in her deck, which is a... Deduction. That's good. Um, so we will go ahead and put an inquiring mind under her, as I assume we're going to need to get clues. All right. So Silas, action one, we'll move in to this tidal tunnel. Assume it's the uh, yep tidal pool. It's plus one shroud while it is partially flooded, and plus two shroud while it is fully flooded. After the title pool is revealed, randomly choose one of the set-aside face-down keys and place it on the title tool without looking at it. So he could try to get these uh, two clues, but look what I found. To get the key. Of course, we may not need the key, actually. So we can... Um... We're at uh, two, three to beat three. We'll just uh, we'll just investigate and make normal. Three to beat three. Ah, oh, curse. Okay, curse. We're gonna fail this one by a lot. Okay, minus two. So, uh, we failed. And we can't lucky that into a look what I found, which is what I was hoping to do. But at least we got two curses out. All right, last action. We'll move and we'll see what this infatuable depth is. We already have the keys for it. So this is the Temple of the Union. Um, after this location is revealed, uh, place the aside black key on it and we need the green and the red. Okay, so we don't have the green. And we got to spend four clues. All right. So uh, we will just Pathfinder here. Okay. And she, her first action is to investigate. She will commit deduction to this using the Grizzly Totem, committing Essence of the Dream. We're just trying to beat the curse tokens in case they're in there. We're at five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, V three. And I guess to be perfect to be accurate, we should be have two clues on here. Okay, that's minus four. We succeed, we get both clues. And we get what I assume is the green key. Yep. And then we will take another action. To move into the Temple of Union and we will spend one, two, three, four. And we will get the black key. We'll read the flashback, but at the end of the day, it doesn't matter because uh, we just get this last asset, the the headdress, but we've already um, we've already uh, this is not the right thing. We have already uh, met the objective here, which is uh, you control all three of the keys. That's the black, the white, and the purple, which we do. We advance. 
Confident that you found enough evidence of the order's activities, you head back to the coast. You'd much rather continue your investigation on dry land. That is true. Okay, so now, except for maybe Silas doesn't. <laughs> Silas likes the butt. Okay, so we've got um, we've got two victory points from these guys. We've got this victory point, this victory point, this victory point. Let's see. There's one more of the. Oh. It's uh, this bootlegger's highway. Yep. So that's six XP plus, I believe, we get uh, another six for each of the keys that we got. So definitely good. And now we'll have something like 20 XP to spend. So that'll be fun. Get to see these guys uh, really ramp up their builds. I'll go ahead and just mention, I know that um, through some of the previous scenarios and through this scenario already, I can see that I made a couple of mistakes. Um, that's just, you know, part of playing through a new campaign that I haven't played a lot and missing things playing two-handed. So hopefully you guys are, uh, you know, understanding of that, that uh, we don't make perfect plays here. But I think it, uh, the only one that really upset me was forgetting that the, the, the boss would have moved. And uh, again, I probably, I'm sure I could have taken mitigating uh, you know, actions to prevent that from, from being a problem. But anyway, uh, but all, I, I always say be kind to yourself. So hopefully you guys uh, express the same in your own games. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I will see you next time on Winging It.